Hansel and Gretel. There once was a family with a father and two children named Hansel and Gretel. The father was a woodcutter, but times were tough, and there wasn't much wood to cut where they lived. He didn't want to go far away, because he would have to leave Hansel and Gretel alone. Hansel and Gretel wanted to help, so one day they decided to try to find some more food for the family. They went into the woods while their father was working. They knew they'd be walking very far, so Hansel dropped a trail of breadcrumbs behind them. That way, they would have something to guide them back home. But what they didn't realize was that a duck was following the bread trail, eating up all of the crumbs. By midday, Hansel and Gretel hadn't found any food, and they were getting so hungry. They decided to go back home where they could rest in their own beds and eat a small lunch. But when they turned around, they saw only the duck. They were completely lost. They wandered, and they wandered, but no matter what they did, they couldn't find their way home. Then a white bird wandered up and looked right at them. They followed it through the woods and into a clearing where they saw the most delicious looking house they had ever seen. It was made of gingerbread and candy and held together with thick, gooey frosting. The closer they got, the more their stomachs rumbled. The door opened and an old woman poked her head out. Oh, you poor dears, you look positively starved, she exclaimed. Come inside, come inside. Hansel and Gretel were so hungry and tired that they didn't think twice about going into the woman's house. Once inside, she gave them tons and tons of candy. They ate until they were stuffed. They were so content that they both dozed off. When they awoke, it was very warm inside the house. Gretel got up first to see what was going on. The old woman had turned on her oven and was humming while she mixed some spices up in a bowl. Something seemed off to Gretel. The woman looked scarier than she had earlier when they were so hungry. You're awake, she said when she saw Gretel. Gretel nodded. She looked around to find Hansel and saw that he was still sleeping soundly, but there was a cage around him. I've had a wonderful idea, said the old hag. It's so drafty in here. Why don't you get in the oven? It will warm you right up. Gretel was too smart for that. She knew something wasn't right about this old woman. Thinking fast, she said, You want me to do what? Get in the oven, dear, said the old woman. I don't understand, Gretel said. This woke Hansel up, and he watched from his cage. He could tell that Gretel was up to something, so he stayed as quiet as possible. The oven! The oven! said the hag, leaning closer and closer to the open oven door. Gretel took a deep breath, hoping that this would work. Maybe you should show me what to do. The old woman sighed, but she climbed up into the oven anyway. As soon as the woman was all the way in, Gretel slammed the <gasps> oven door shut, broke Hansel out of the cage and grabbed him by the hand. Then they ran away as fast as they could. They ran for what felt like hours before finally stopping. They were safe from the old woman. But there was one problem. They still didn't know how to get home. There was a big lake, and Hansel thought he might recognize the trees at the other side, but he couldn't be sure, and neither of them could swim. But then a duck swam over to them. It was the same one from earlier who'd eaten their breadcrumbs trail. He could take us across, Gretel said. Hansel clambered onto the duck and it swam him across the lake. Then it came back and got Gretel. Once they were across, everything did look familiar. They were able to get home so quickly then, and the duck followed, making sure they took all the right turns. Their father was so happy to have them home and safe, and Hansel and Gretel made sure never to wander alone in the woods again. Thanks for watching!